Prior to operating the vacuum, it is important that the product fit properly on the operator. You can fasten and adjust the upper and lower back plate by utilizing the multiple adjustment holes in the upper and lower back plates for proper fitting depending upon torso length. First, loosen the shoulder straps and waist belt in an open area by lifting the vacuum by one shoulder strap and sliding your free arm into the opposite shoulder strap. Now, make the necessary fit adjustments on the following contact points. Fasten and adjust the waist belt snugly. Make sure the vacuum back plate, which distributes 90% of the vacuum weight, rests upon your hips to ensure maximum ergonomic comfort. Fasten and adjust the shoulder straps so they are snug. Take caution not to over-tighten these straps to ensure maximum ergonomic comfort. However, it is important that the top of the vacuum back plate is making contact between the shoulder blades in the upper back area. Next, fasten and adjust the sternum strap so it fits snugly. Now that the product adjustments have been made, it is important to connect the power supply cord to the extension cord in a manner that minimizes wear on the cord, provides notification that you are at the end of your cord, and also allows for safe operation. On older models, first place the extension cord between the waist belt strap and the padded area to signal when no additional cord remains while you're vacuuming. On newer models, a Schulte cord wrap is included that will easily manage this process and minimize the wear on the cord. Assemble the Schulte loop power management system by pulling the extension cord up through the loop system before plugging the extension cord into the power supply. Insert the opposite end of the extension cord into a power source. Turn on the power by accessing the on-off switch located in the pocket on the waist belt. Move the switch into the on position. The vacuum is now ready for operation. Now let's take a look at some vacuuming motion recommendations for large areas. First, begin with the wand parallel to your body, with one hand placed on the area of the wand closest to the hose, and the other hand placed further down on the wand closer toward the button lock. Draw the top of the wand towards your waist. While keeping your back as straight as possible and your weight centered over your hips, twist at your waist while walking backward or forward using a side-to-side -side motion. This motion is similar to mopping and prevents your upper body and arms from tiring. Some ergonomic tips include keeping the weight of the vacuum evenly distributed on the operator's hips and keeping the padded waist belt or waist and shoulder straps properly adjusted for a custom fit. And lastly, use the proper attachment for each task. ProTeam has attachments to perform most jobs without requiring the operator to bend over and get into difficult positions. An optional accessory available with any ProTeam backpack vacuum is the durable vac station and storage component. Easily mounted to a wall surface, it has several mounting positions to accommodate different operator heights. It allows the operator to easily put on and take off the vacuum while keeping all related tools and components organized.